Hi, my name is Ryan Castellas. I'm owner and creative director of Discourse Coffee. I knew I wanted to start a coffee shop. You know, I had always been an artist, I grew up a musician, and uh, when I moved to Door County, I kind of stopped doing music, and I needed a way to express myself. And I saw these chefs using food as a matter of expression, uh, and I thought, well, I can't cook, but uh, I can make a mean cup of coffee. So is there a way that we can use coffee to tell the same stories? You look on our sign outside, it doesn't say coffee, it says a liquid workshop. So when people come in here, there isn't that priming of, I'm gonna get a normal coffee experience. People have been unreal accepting about that. I think the biggest challenge is blending that with a traditional coffee shop. You know, so if people come in and they want a 12 ounce cup of coffee and they wanna play it safe, we're gonna make you a dang good cup of coffee. But to do that, and then balance it with the excitement and the wonder. I think that's the challenge, but also the, the fun. And so that gives us the opportunity. You know, when people come in here, we ask, you want something hot or cold, you know, mild or bold? And that's about all we do. And then we guide you to something on the menu. So my partner and our director of coffee is uh, Chris Johnston. Uh, we met uh, winter of 2015. I went back to Milwaukee to do a stint at Valentine Coffee, uh, which is really where I learned uh, to be a barista. And I met this kid and we were always on the 12 to 5 shift, uh, which was you know, a little bit slower for a coffee shop. We would do latte and throw-downs with each other all the time. Uh, we would always try to be creating wacky, new, fun, wild drinks. Uh, and we kind of just realized, dang, there's something here. We should do something about it. So as soon as I knew discourse was gonna happen, as soon as we got this space, uh, he was the first one I called, and I said, hey man, I know this is crazy. Do you want to uproot your entire life, move from Milwaukee to Door County, uh, and start a coffee shop in Sister Bay? And he said, yeah, yeah, I do. I think I could do that. Discourse Coffee. Ryan, how are you, buddy? My man. Nice to see you. <laughs> good to see you. You got the long hug going there. Christopher, hey. how are oh, you? Good, man. This is very exciting. I'm thrilled for both of you gentlemen. Thank you so much. And I'm also here to taste more coffee than I probably ever had in my entire life. I think we can do that for you. Yeah? Let's get you capped up. All right. So what we got here, the first thing I'm gonna do for you. All right. Uh, this is called Bren. You we just put a, a powder on, go you ahead. No, I did. <laughs> All Every right. week we do a new one. Uh, so this week what we're rocking with, we have a spearmint infused cold brew. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, frozen in spherical ice molds. We take them out and we dip them in a mix of Madagascar chocolate from Dandelion in San Francisco. And so that's the butter. globe. Yep, that's the globe. We temper the chocolate. Um, and then we brush it with a honey that we smoke with apple wood uh, for a little bit of kind of added depth, complexity, florality. Uh, and then on the top, uh, we make a new salt every week. So this week it's a matcha and vanilla bean salt that we've actually combined with matcha powder and dehydrated lime that we grinded up in an immersion blender. And you want me to put this in my mouth? One bite, baby. I can't wait. One bite. I can't in this world think of any experience more fulfilling uh, than seeing somebody react to something that you've made. Uh, Kren is probably the most fun. Uh, you know, seeing people, uh, their faces light up when it pops. That moment is special. And we are so incredibly honored to be able to share that moment. So what happened was I put that in my mouth, I crushed it, the spherified coffee broke open in a liquid from the chocolate. The heat of my mouth broke down the fleur de sal with the matcha, the vanilla, and the lime. It mixed with the chocolate, it mixed with the coffee, and all of it washed to the back corners of my tongue like melted chocolate does, which is why we love it. Absolutely. You're both a mad genius <laughs> and uh, someone who I'm liking more and more by the second. <laughs> oh, thank you, God, thank you. That was so good it's that and unexpected. Uh, we're kind of taking the, uh, the course that American coffee and the third wave coffee movement is going, and we're just saying, hey, this is awesome, but we could also do it this way. Uh, and uh, that's kind of uh, the embodiment of the name. You know, it's uh, an, an active personification of, of what we try to do here. Next thing I want to taste yet on here today, every week we do two new coffee sodas. 
Uh, this one is called Night Swim. So when you come up to do a county, uh, one of the things you absolutely have to do is uh, go on a night swim. Skinny dipping. Absolutely. In the dark. Baby. A couple days ago I was out taking one of these night swims. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to make a drink that was <laughs> inspired by it. Okay, and this is really a tea drink right now. It is. So it's matcha uh -huh. uh, and bee lure extract. So bee lure is the extract of the pea blossom flower. The unique component of bee lure, it's almost flavorless, but when it comes into contact with citric acid, which like is this your lemon, right? Here, yeah, as furnished by the lemon. You'll see the bottom there is slowly starting to change to pink. Oh, yeah. That's my impression of the moonlight that was shining down on the lake that night. Oh, Ryan, I love this. And then finally, I wanted to create something that would uh, emulate the sea. And uh, so what we did was we actually steeped cold brew over nori. Uh, like sushi, exactly. seaweed. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, in our slow jumper. And there you are, my man. So night this swim. Night swim. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, it has the chill of a night swim. Exactly. That cold touch of water, even in the warmest of summers, the nori comes through in the most subtle way. Like I was, honestly, I was a little afraid that would be a <laughs> bit overwhelming. This is. That's the goal, man. This is inspired. One more thing I want to make up here today. So this is uh, made with our farm partners at Hidden Acres. We went over there the other day with a, a friend and they had these incredible melons. Melons that you stuck your nose in the melon, on the melon. And, and you it, smelled that. You tasted it. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I just know I wanted to use it. I made a juice out of it and it was good, but I wanted to do something else. So I wanted to emulate a roasted melon. So we steeped it over heat with uh, turbinado sugar and tela cherry pepper. Because that's what everybody does. Absolutely. <laughs> you got to. Uh, after that, we uh, added the reduction to a little bit of cold brew uh -huh. and some whole milk. We're using cold brew from our partners at Onyx. Uh, absolutely wonderful people, wonderful coffee. Um, and what came out was Frenchie. Uh, so this is uh, about as exuberant and expressive of Door County and of Sister Bay right now as, as we can hope to be. All right, here goes uh, dope straw, by the way. Thank you very much. This is solid copper. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so rich and soft and sweet and depthful. My favorite part about that drink is how the cold brew kind of almost blends in perfectly to the palate of the melon. This is this is lovely. Thank you so much, Kyle. And I don't even like sipping through straws. <laughs> so All we right. can't let you come to a coffee shop without giving you coffee. A cafe should be judged by its most earnest, humble, and straightforward cup. Absolutely. But whose coffee is this? Because you don't roast here. We don't roast. So we source coffee over the course of the year from a stable of 16 different roasteries. But this guy is uh, from our dear friends at Onyx Coffee Labs. Uh, so you'll get melon, you'll get, uh, we get a little black tea, we get florality, we get honeysuckle, jasmine. Yeah, I get the honeysuckle and the jasmine and then I got this rich bass note that's like uh, a vibration of, it's almost leaning towards that good spot when you kind of burn the toast, Yeah. but it's not quite. Absolutely. Like that deep brown. Absolutely. That's in here. That crunch. Yeah. You have taken me on a poetic journey through flavor. I never expected it from a cafe, though um, I'm not surprised with you and your partner. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you for taking the journey with us. Delighted. Uh, I'm off to see a little bit more of Door County and um, maybe get that night swim in. Take that night swim, baby. <laughs> see ya. Cheers, Kyle.